Hey, hey, um, I'm Rev. And I'm Sam. And we are traveling around America's Great Loop aboard the Here's To Us. Now, if you've never been to our channel before, welcome. And uh, you should really consider subscribing. And hit the bell. <laughs> and hit the bell <laughs> because you'll get um, notified every time we put out a new video. So yeah. today, yeah. what's happening? Well, I was also going to tell them about on whatyouhavetodo.com. You can also subscribe to our newsletter. It comes right. out once a week. On Kinda Sunday. Kind of catches you up on what we've done for that week. That's a really good point. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good morning from the bridge of the Here's to Us. We are underway from the wharf, heading to Pensacola. And we don't know if we're going to be docking at the Naval Air Station or uh, we have a backup place to uh, go, which is Harbor View Marine. They've arranged for us some space there. I have a fellow Air Force friend who is uh, at the Naval Air Station and uh, he's seeing if things are ready for us because we can't get them on the phone. We are underway in a kind of a marginal day, but uh, I've looked at the radar and uh, it looks good enough to go. We might get into some rain showers and we might have some winds, but nothing that I don't think we can handle. The autopilot is on steering following a route that I programmed in Navionics and then imported it into the Garmin. So uh, the Here's to Us is steering right here. You can see we're just one foot or less left of course or right of course as she's uh, tied into it. Down here is I have my backup Navionics in case I would have to disengage the autopilot. But everything seems to be going okay right now, so we'll check back with you. We're in an area that we're going to be going through some open, um, you know, kind of bays, and uh, then, then through some channels, so we'll have to vary our speed uh, so that we don't wash out people's boats and their docks. So uh, we'll be back with you a little bit later on the Here's to Us. So today we left the wharf in Alabama, and mm -hmm. we ended up in the uh, Naval Air Station Pensacola Marina. Not really our first choice, but that's the way it went. <laughs> so today, when we left the wharf, it was cloudy, but Sam assured me it would be fine. He looked at the radar, he saw the sails were moving out of the way, so we hit the road. Yeah, in my experience in aviation, I looked at the sails and looked at a couple other things, and decided, hey, it'll be okay. It's going to be marginal, but it'll be okay. And let me tell you a little bit about our options. Our options weren't that many because a lot of the marinas in this area are taken up with a lot of people who pretty much came from the Panama City area right. where marinas were destroyed. Yeah. And the other thing is our boat is on the bigger side. Um, a lot of the places I called wouldn't take anything more than 45 feet. So that's something to consider when you're planning and buying a loop boat. Right. It kind of limits you a little bit. Uh, okay, so we had, basically we got in touch with somebody who turned us on to a place in Harbor View, okay. which was really, it's a boat yard, but they had a transient dock, and we had a space there. So that was our primary objective to get there. We also knew about Naval Air Station Pensacola, but unfortunately we couldn't get in touch with them. I had called them a couple weeks ago, and then of course the shooting happened, which was a very tragic thing. The base was shut down. They weren't answering their phones. And anyway, we'll tell you about the weather and why we ended up here. So as we departed, right, we said it was goodbye. Really it was nice. it was a nice yeah. marina, and we made some friends there. Um, we parked next to and uh, waved goodbye to them as we took off. As we got into the um, intercoastal waterway again. Um, pretty soon, there were homes along the way. Uh, what about the no-wake zones, Yeah, Mr. beautiful homes and lots of uh, no-wake zones, of course. Right. And uh, we respected that pretty much idle speed, about six knots going through there. Also, uh, you know, there was uh, a sailboat or two that went through there. There were boat houses um, with... Now, we live on a lake in Texas, and we have a 24-foot lake boat, but these boats that were at on boathouses on the uh, ICW 
giant, yeah, giant big. boats, yeah, giant some big, boat uh, houses, Viking sport fishers, and all those types that was of stuff. Just so, really some incredible. Pretty big houses. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it started to get cloudy, didn't it? It was cloudy all day. What are well, you talking about? I know, about? but it started to get more cloudy. And I was <laughs> taking a look at, uh, or cloudier, whatever mm -hmm. is grammatically correct. Whatever. Cloudier. And uh, started to take a closer look at the, uh, the radar. Uh, we had our radar on on the boat, and we were looking at the uh, weather bug radar uh, portrayal, what was going on off the coast. And it was starting to, it was, it was, it was building and then breaking up. And so... We pushed it up a little bit to chime our arrival. All right, a little update on our trip here. We are in uh, Perdido Bay on our trip from the wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama, all the way over to uh, Pensacola, a distance about oh, 30 miles or so. And uh, it is uh, one of those days where we're starting to get some rain showers. You can see we have about one foot uh, on the beam here as we're navigating through about where that uh, red triangle day marker is there that's about where Florida is so we're heading into Florida Ono Island is off to the right and uh, Perdido Bay that's where we're in right now Perdido Beach is off to the left you can barely see it some rain showers out there but We've taken a look at the radar, nothing is, seems to be building other than some rain showers, and I think we're going to time our approach to get in there between some uh, rain cells. So uh, we'll just take a look at it as we go along. There's no traffic out here. I guess no one else uh, wants to brave the weather, and again, it doesn't look too bad. So uh, we do have a bug out place to go in case uh, things get dicey. So, uh, But as we moved along it became apparent that we probably weren't going to make harbor view so what we did was we talked to a friend of ours who was already at naval air station pensacola and uh, they indicated there was dock space so we changed our destination to naval air station right. pensacola all right we're continuing on our journey from the wharf to uh, pensacola where we hope to dock at navy uh, station pensacola the marina there we are now going through Perdido Key. We are at uh, pretty much idle speed, We're just going about six miles per hour. You can see around here there is a ton of pleasure craft and rentals, and it looks like this place during good weather or the summertime would be very interesting to be at as far as navigating. We just passed a barge way back there, a little way back there, he was carrying crushed up cars. Uh, so that was kind of a surprise to see a barge on here. So uh, a tow with one barge on it, which is probably enough to navigate around some of these uh, shallow and uh, skinny, narrow channels here in the bay. So just kind of keeping a lookout here don't see much signs of life. It's one of those blistery days where we are also taking a look at a cell that's building off the south of Pensacola. And uh, while we think that's breaking up, we're still probably going to get some wind from it. So we're going to be timing our approach to get into Pensacola uh, either ahead of or after that cell pass. So that may affect us as we go down. The road. As we were going along the ICA, we did see a an awesome bridge. Yes, big bridge, and it was next to the uh, Holiday Marina there, and I think Escambia. Oh, okay. It was oh. that the name of the town? Yeah. yeah. There was also, uh, when we were traveling along, a giant barge that you called out to. Yes, yeah, there was a barge, and believe it or not, we thought we were done with barges, and so I called the tow. Uh, he only had one barge on his tow, and he was able to maneuver around, uh, but it was all crushed cars. Crushed on, cars? Yeah, it was crushed so cars. weird seeing it out there. Yeah. You know, like you said, I thought we left barges behind when we uh, left the rivers, but no, there's still barges out here in the yeah. ICW. 
but I wouldn't I wouldn't think they would have more than about one or two barges on there because it is very narrow. The intracoastal waterway is very narrow. Yeah. It's not real deep. So uh, yeah. we, we, we got we, around right. during the turn. You know, yeah, we I know. Around. We did see a sailboat that was under sail. And um, as Sam has taught me, when the sailboat has their sail up, they have the right of way and they are the boss. And they did, and so um, we didn't have any yeah, problems. We, didn't have we any problem. you pass them just like you're on a highway. Yeah. We stayed on the right hand side. They stayed on the left and passed us on our on yeah. our port side. Yeah, port to port, <laughs> uh, which is the way that we pass the uh, the tow as right. well. Port to port on the one, yeah. as they say. Another very exciting thing that happened. We started to see dolphins again, mm -hmm. and. Um, just we, can't really get that perfect shot of the dolphin. I know! Huh? My camera will be in a different place or, you know, my iPad. I'm yeah. just, uh, I don't usually, have them. Yeah, I'll usually see them uh, <laughs> right. and then call it out and then it's kind of too late. But, they uh, like to jump in front of the boat and then they like to follow the wake yeah. of our boat. And so just trying to catch a good picture or video of them. It's been yeah. a little tricky. So as we progress the, uh, the storm cell, we could start feeling the, a little bit of that. We had winds indicating 30 miles an hour. I didn't tell Rev that, 30 oh, miles an hour. Man. But we I'm also uh, came upon one of the inlets uh, to the Gulf of Mexico, and the waves started to get uh, probably three feet there. So uh, yeah. it started to get a little exciting. But... Yeah, and the waves started going crazy, and then our boat started going crazy. And yeah. I don't like to travel <laughs> when the boats, you know, when there's waves and wind oh. and rain. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, so it was only for a little bit, and we what? knew that. It was Don't only... lie to the people, Sammy. It was longer than that. <laughs> it was only a little bit where uh, the waves were about <laughs> you three said feet. That again. <laughs> no, it was they longer calmed, than a little bit. It calmed down after we got past the inlet, and probably about two foot waves. And uh, so then. We maneuvered to uh, get to Naval Air Station Pensacola. Yeah. We were in we touch did. with. We did, yeah. If you are in the military and you can get in over here, it was a blessing because I was really to, ready to get out of the, the waves beating us up. But it was a narrow channel. We followed, who was that? What book did you use to uh, get it in was, here? It uh, was actually put out by Skipper Bob, Skipper but it was Bob. a... A publication uh, anybody that is retired military or military can get from uh, uh, Skipper Bob. It's military marinas. They don't keep it up to date. Uh, no, no. I'm talking about the route was yeah, different was, than yeah. Navionics. Yeah, is that, that what you that mean? That was the route that was... Oh, really? Yeah, which okay. is basically what the marina tells everybody to do here. So we had a uh, way to get in here and uh, never saw anything really less than about four feet, except for one time it got a little exciting. Well, got, that was your fault. Track. But uh, yeah. we got in here. <laughs> you should tell him what happened. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I got off the magenta line a little bit and uh, we good. got back on. Okay. Uh, so we didn't run aground. Uh, got into here and then had a little bit of challenge as to yeah. where we were going to tie up. But well, just that's all part of pre planning and crew communication. Yeah. And uh, I will take the hit on that as the captain <laughs> as not communicating. Okay, with my okay. First mate. So just so you know, but, uh, you got to learn the boating terms, and you got to know which side is port and which side is starboard. If you, as a couple, are going to agree to use those terms, so yeah. that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> they can when you uh, you can buy us a drink at some port, and we'll tell you a real story. But uh, yeah. anyway. <laughs> But anyway, we are here. Yep. Uh, the wind, but the wind was a little crazy we're when we glad did to be dock. Here. Yeah, very glad. Uh, it is raining at Sunday, so we're gonna watch football and just <laughs> have uh, dinner on the boat. Yeah. There's a couple other boats here. We'll see what happens uh, if the weather clears up. Maybe we'll have some dock tails, but otherwise, I think we'll be on our own. Okay then. So uh, that's <laughs> it. Hope you tune in to see where we go next. All right. We'll see you right, next time. See ya. Bye bye. Thank you.